Pisces, you're the last one for the readings of January to February with this current year. Doink. Okay, I got new deck, guys. Look at this. You know what it is? It is the Starman Tarot deck by David De Angelis. I think it's pronounced, and it was inspired by the artwork he created for David Bowie. He was my favorite musician growing up, right? Love it. I'm like uber excited and I really love this deck and I'm probably going to be using it for a really long period of time. Because I love David Bowie. <laughs> but anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you enjoyed your holidays. I know I did. I don't go back to work till after tomorrow, so I'm pretty lucky on that. Or try you find your inner strength, I think. Cool beans, cool beans. I just thought that was a cigarette in her mouth, but it's not. I don't know what the fuck that is. Okay, we'll let's start with these two. Fuck it. Okay. We got Six of Swords and Queen of Pentacles. Ew. Holy shit. Like, I really didn't get a chance to look at her too well. I don't know if I pulled her yet or not, but holy fucking shit. That is very menacing. <laughs> We're in her sign. Uh, nice. Oh, no whammies. Starman, also known as the Magician. Prince of Cups. Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups. I think the Prince of Cups is the Knight. Yeah, yeah, it is because it's. I don't. I don't know why I was thinking it wasn't, but whatever. Um, beginning theme. Ew. The Star. Not the star man, but the star. Aquarius' card, right? Reverse, though. So someone's being an arrogant prick. <laughs> Let's see. I need to write something down real quick. Okay. There we go. Alright, so we got the star reverse, right? Could be the Aquarius who's a little bit corrupt and they're like, I'm gonna make a cult and make everyone worship me like a goddess mode because they have a tendency to do that. Um, hmm. I think they're out of the control a little bit, right? Because I haven't even started the reading yet. I just started shuffling. This is like the first time this has happened since I've gotten this deck, just so you know. But some of them might be a little bit out of control. Some of them might be a little bit arrogant with it, right? But now we're going to move on to the Six of Swords, right? And that is about moving forward even though things are trying to push you back. That dude with the head in the sky is like totally trying to get you to like go back. And you're just like, no. Um, there's a lot of strength being involved in this. A lot of like, no, I'm pushing forward and I'm leaving this behind me. Then we have this... Prince of Cups right here, who's a bit immature, but he's still offering the cup up. Being like, look at how awesome this is. Arrgh. But he's not being genuine. He appears to be genuine, but he's not really giving his true feelings. He's being very immature when he wants to be stubborn about it. Right? Now, this is the situation. This might be how you're feeling or someone you're dealing with is feeling, right? Um... This person has a lot of emotions, but the Page of Cups is kind of like, it, like, they're obviously the same person, right? But it makes me feel like this person is way more immature and way more selfish than what they are displaying. You know, because he's showing a path, because like the 
Prince of Cups or the Knight of Cups usually moves forward with open handed with his cups, showing his face, being like, here you go. This is just for you. But it's like false advertising almost, right? Right. Then we got the Queen of Pentacles. Could most likely be a Capricorn since that is our patron card, but it could also be a Virgo or a Taurus as well. She looks really involved. Like, she is the burning bush, and she controls stuff, and then she is very passionate in her nature. Like, her gown is on fire, but she's definitely in control of her elements, you know. Casting, like, what looks like DNA or some shit. Even though there's her steps behind her, so that kind of makes sense, too. But still, um, doing a lot of actions to create things. She might be by herself, but she's definitely enjoying what she's doing. Um, five of Swords situation possibly dealing with her. Um, there might be a argument, some backstabbing of Swords, or someone just not willing to fight anymore going into a battle. Like, someone... What you want is this Queen of Pentacle to arrive ready and alert for some sort of fight or some communicative debate or just to verbalize something. Like, you definitely want them to come in and, like, do something to demonstrate. But I'm wondering if you're aware that those are black swans and they're not exactly the most honest. Or do you see this person as the most dishonest right now? Or are you coming in to be dishonest to them? You know, blackbirds are not usually looked upon in society very well. We have Queen of Wands, right? What's going against you? This could be a Sagittarius or a Leo or a... Aries, sorry. I was totally trying to remember which one and it was just like, did I say Aries? I must have. I didn't. Um, this is somebody who's being really, really hard at it. Like, I want this, and I want it now. I said, now, bitch. You know, that kind of attitude, right? Like, they're being very cruel, very bully, like, not having any sort of patience whatsoever. Not wanting to participate in that whatsoever. Because they're really insecure, and they're holding their stuff too close to their chest. It's like... It's, it's, it's like demonstrating a lack of... It's like a lack of um, self-control. Like, maybe somebody is viewing this Queen of Pentacles as sneaky in nature. Because the Five of Swords deals with conflict, and it could be really sneaky. I mean, like, they're black, after all. They're the color black. Um, usually, black represents, like, not the best things in the world. Oftentimes, death. No, death is, there's nothing wrong with death, unless you don't want it. Then, you know, they, you might have a problem with it, right? But, like, this could also deal with treachery, deceit, maybe not on the right side of light. Which, mind you, I've never had a problem with the whole black is, good, is bad and white is good aspect. It's never crossed my mind as that. I've never understood why people always take it racistly, but whatever. Yeah, if anything, it just shows that, like, the black side of things are more feminine and much more pure to deal with and are at least upfront about their intentions. And, like, the white side that tries to convince you they're good and all this other shit. All right, now I'm talking about something more religious, but I don't think people understand that it's religious that I'm talking about, not just anything else. So that's my fault. And anyway... Starman's up in the fears and rejections, right? Like the manifestation of stuff. Because he's a magician. Like a fear of manifesting a new beginning? A new offer? Transformation of something? Transmuting something? Like, what is this, Pisces? Why is that a fear? What kind of fear is that? A new beginning? A new star? You're afraid of what that could lead to, maybe? Or what kind or what the possibilities are? Like, is that overwhelming to you? To manifest great things. And here down here we got the Eight of Cups, right? Which is like final result, like catalyst, stuff like that. Somebody wanting to walk away. 
And it's obvious, like, they're very confused on what to do. King of Pentacles, it's pairing right here. It could be business partners, I feel like. Since it's the king and queen. I mean, they could be related. They could be in a relationship. But it's not like they either one of them really need each other. They're just invested into each other for a, a, an additional benefit, I feel like. Like, she does a lot of the work, and, like, he's just... Whatever. <laughs> we got Judgment over here as the ending theme. Um, something was potentially resurrected out of, like... Huh. This is a judgment call. This is like right idea, possibly, too. About possibly an Aquarius or a situation where someone was getting a little bit too egotistical. A little too into themselves. Who wasn't realizing like there's no communication even, maybe? No talking. Okay, so with the strength and the six of swords, or someone's ready to leave. And they have the strength to do so. They're keeping themselves in check to do so. Because this Prince of Cups isn't exactly forthright with his emotions as much as they thought. Could be you as well, Pisces, who could be doing this. So keep that in mind. Yeah, someone's ready to take off from the situation and go somewhere else with it. Either to the past or somewhere else. It doesn't really matter. Like, they'll leave. They're ready to go. <laughs> um, Queen of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. Maybe she's sneaky in nature. Like, I don't know, because this is like a wish. Like, someone wishes this person as their little spy or dirty worker. Or, I mean, because here's the Queen of Wands being really insecure about their... have plotting. Because they're, like, really, really imbalanced and, like... They want something now. And they're holding the cards too close to their chest. To the point where they don't even see what they're doing. I almost feel like this Queen of Swords might be a betrayed here. Like, you're definitely swooping in for something. I don't know if she's the one who's sending them in. Or what. Three of Cups. Reversed. Possibly a third party situation. Someone might be ready to leave that situation. Maybe that's why this person's a little bit insecure. And this person's feeling a bit devious. There's a third party involved, getting it involved somewhere somehow. Mind you, third party doesn't have to be romantic. It could just be like two co-workers against each other because one inspired the other to be. Like, oh, this person called you a bitch. Ah, oh, bitch. I hate that bitch. Hey, she said you're she hates you, bitch. Oh well, good for her. I'm glad. Like, you know, just starting shit between people. Just cause. I feel like someone wants to move away from that bullshit, too. Because it's just like, no, I'm not even interested in this anymore. Yeah, and... Walking away to become the, eight of, the king of pentacles and being afraid of manifesting a new beginning. Like, there's going to be an aha moment, Pisces. There will be a great aha moment for you. Where you will come to some realization. Possibly that you can take care of yourself. Because the King of Pentacles is somebody who is um, efficient. All on their own. Maybe with this judgment card you realize that like you're being hard-headed and stubborn in some way. But I think you realize since the sword is pointing down here. That you are able to do things. And you are capable of walking away. And like you want to do that anyway. And I think that's an outstanding thing for you, man. Like, you guys have gone through some shit when I read yours sometimes. Especially with people conspir conspiring against you. Like, that's just insane. Um, but yeah, like, I feel like you guys are going to finally find the momentum to see that you are good enough for yourself. And you don't need anybody else. Sneaky or otherwise, like, getting you involved in weird shit. Hopefully you are not involving people in other weird shit, but I digress. You don't need it. Nobody does, right? Right. So that is your reading, Pisces, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-byes.